Hi. Hey, bestie. Welcome to part two of the basement reno. If you're new here, my name's Marcel. In the last video, I ripped everything out, so now I'm slowly starting to put it all back together again. If you haven't watched that video yet and you want to, I'll put the link right here or it's there or wherever it is. There's a lot of steps to get to that 70s basement of my dreams, so I'm breaking it down into each part so that way you'll see what goes into it from start to finish. In this video, I'm going to be scraping out all the cracks in the foundation wall so it'll be ready for mortar, and then once that's done, I can waterproof. I'm going to be scraping the walls with a steel brush and a flathead screwdriver for the bigger chunks. And that's really all the tools I think I need for this first part, so enough of me talking. I want to get to it, so let's go scrape those walls. Before we get started, I do want to mention that I am going to be masking up for all this because who knows what's going on with all that old paint and dust down there. Okay, that's it. Let's go. If you've watched any of my videos before, you know that I am not a big fan of dust, so that wasn't my favorite thing to do, but now all that loose paint and debris is cleared out, so I'm going to start filling in all those cracks with some mortar. I was told I could use the premix kind since I don't need a ton, so hopefully this little tub will be enough. I also got a little trowel to apply it and smooth it out. I'll put a link below if you want to check them out. All right, it's been about a week since I did the mortar. I wanted to give it a little bit of time to really cure since it's getting colder outside, but I think at this point, she's good to go. I just left the store, I got the goods. I originally thought I was gonna be using like a dry lock product, but since there's already paint on the walls down there, I had to find a waterproofing paint that was able to paint over existing paint. Paint, paint, paint. Bear has a product called Dry Plus, so hopefully that will do the trick. First, I'm going to cut in with two coats with a paintbrush, and then I'm going to go back through with a three-quarter inch nap roller and do the rest of the walls. I also bought some vapor protective masks because apparently this stuff is pretty fumey, and I can't open the windows down there because of the storm windows covering, so I just want to protect myself as much as I can, you know? another step donezo it already looks so much better down there with that little bit of paint this video is short and sweet but it laid the foundation for the next thing which is insulation that should be pretty easy but i haven't even started that yet so we'll see if you like this video i would love if you push that little like button it really helps my channel like a lot subscribe if you haven't already and hit that little bell icon so you'll be notified when my next video comes out Thanks so much again for watching. I really appreciate it and I'll see you soon. Bye. Airplanes, can you stop making so much noise?